Well, we're going to switch gears here a little bit. You can use apps to get scores, but we're talking something differently today. Go for sports diehards. We'll know this, but last week the whole country was introduced to the phrase Skyuma. I still don't know what it means, Chris. I didn't know what it was either until before today, sadly, but uh, that phrase and it going nationwide was after football coach PJ Fleck said it 1,200 times during his introductory <laughs> press conference. So what does it mean? And what are its origins? We found out today that it means quite a lot and absolutely nothing at the same time. Before Memorial Stadium. When we talk about the true glory days, you know, going to Rose Bowls in the 1960s, this is what they were packing this house to watch the Gophers play. Before Northrop Field. It's Ooh. before cars. Yes. Right? It's when people climb power lines to watch the freaking game. Before all that, there was Sky U Ma. Sky U Ma! Sky U Ma! Sky U Ma! Sky U Ma! Sky U Ma is everything. But the story of Sky U Ma, there's a canoe. Sky U Ma! Sky U Ma! I'm a U graduate. And I don't even know what, I didn't know what Sky U Ma meant. And then here comes Coach Fleck in his press conference and it's Sky U Ma, row the boat, Sky U Ma, row the boat, row the boat, row the boat, Sky U Ma. <laughs> yeah. So what is Sky U Ma? Well, you're not alone. The story becomes myth. So sometimes you have to kind of take the details with a grain of salt. Sure. But back in the 1880s, we had a couple of rugby players. They were out at Lake Pepin in Southeast Minnesota watching some canoe races. And they heard um, some guys yelling Sky U, or at least that's what they heard, Sky U. And they mistook it for the Sioux word for victory, seeing that they were cheering on the winning canoe racing teams on the lake. Um, it turns out that that's not what it means. But don't let that get in the way of a good story. They took it back. They made it their own. They added ma, which is a nonsense syllable. It just rhymes with raw, so it can be part of a nice rhyming cheer. And Sky Ma was born. From the rugby team, it went viral, as we say, becoming part of four Minnesota school songs, including the popular Rouser, written in 1909. And even earlier, in this Sky U Ma number, composed by Louis Rosenberger, for the U football team in 1908. Sky U Ma meets Row the Boat, huh? And now a resurgence from a coach bringing Sky U Ma back to the water. Sky U Ma, I learn something new every day. Yes, yeah, so to see how it means nothing, but it means quite a bit. But it gets you fired up. It does, and I, I was embarrassed that I didn't know about it, but it is really interesting, the symbolism behind it because Fleck comes in with this row the boat metaphor, this mantra that actually is very deep and I think pretty powerful Which as a metaphor. Which he uses for life. He uses for life, right? And then Sky Yuma comes from a couple of rugby guys just watching these folks do a canoe races and he saw some Native American children saying Sky U or something along mm -hmm. those lines, which isn't actually even a word that they realize. So um, they're all about rowing. Row. Future meets the past, that whole row. kind of thing. Yeah. Row, row, row to victories next year. That's what we want. Yeah, we need that. Sky Yuma.